man. His name is Josh Deegan and he is on board. As I said, he's looking like your man, yo. Uh, he's definitely got his uh, colours on today and uh, great to have you on board, Josh. And thanks for uh, joining us. Thanks a million, Ray, for having me on. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, yeah. Josh, uh, you're involved in so many things. Uh, you're in the Old Malta, I've seen you a few times. I am indeed, yeah. Uh, you're involved, uh, you're the founder of the Bright Thoughts Ireland. What exactly is the brighttoughtsireland.com? So, Bright Thoughts Ireland, it's a mental health organisation here in Ireland. We travel all across Ireland doing talks in schools, youth clubs, events, anywhere that'll have us based around mental health, mental illness, all jazz, all the stuff like that. Um, so not only do I share my story personally we have an amazing team of over 300 ambassadors that has grown absolutely immensely and very very rapidly over the last three years um, I set it up in March 2017 so it's grown rapidly very rapidly which is unbelievable and not only myself as I said but all the ambassadors they do share stories if they're comfortable enough with sharing their stories How did you set this up in the first place? So um, <coughs> Basically, what it was was I was sitting in my room one day. Um, I was I obviously battled with depression and anxiety myself. Mm -hmm. So I was sitting in my room one day, and I said, "No one is out here doing this. No one is out here talking about it. And if you do see them, they're they're adults. It's not a young kid sharing its young story. It's all well and good an adult going into a school and talking about it. Yeah, you listen to them." But if it's a young fella your age and going out and sharing that story, I felt like there was the gap in the existing market um, in the existing field. So it was that sort of thing. It's, I either had something to do about it or I could sit back and do nothing and keep my mouth shut. And I decided, look, I'm not going to sit back. I'm going to reach out and I'm going to share my story. So. so the first place, where did you start the first place? I mean, someone is out there and they're wondering, how literally do we get going? Um, so literally what it was for me was in my bedroom, I decided... Look, how, what is my story? Who am I? And what is it I want to do? And then I went into my school. I was on the student council. I was like, look, I'd love to come in and talk. And thankfully, it was close to where in Mungar. Um, after a while, a bit of persuading. And look, I can actually do this. They gave me a shot. And then ever since then, it's the ball's been rolling. So they organised that you could go into all the schools. Is that right? They organised uh, to go into CBS. And then obviously, word of mouth, obviously building up the reputation over a while. Um what happened was my mum was telling me to do it all all organically and at the start and I'm that sort of person I want to just get up and go and go but now that I look back I am so grateful that my ma actually grounded me and said do it organically it is the best thing I have ever done so and then I went on to cycle against suicide um, I've been a student ambassador for them now for the last num the last two and a half years the uh, best day of my life I'd never forget the day I got the email off Katie Carr the student ambassador or the student leader at the time and basically I applied never thinking I'd get it I was one of 12 selected and we went to Wicklow did a retreat and then ever since then I realised look I really really want to do this and give us one story then of how this has worked for people that okay well, you put the whole thing together and uh, give us an example of someone who um, has benefited from this so we hear a lot of success stories, but myself, I've benefited greatly from not only being able to share my story, but I have loads of people reached out and like, Josh, your message not only in inspires me, but gives me hope and makes me realise that I'm not alone. And that's all that we want to do. At what age are you? I'm 19. No, 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 19, the average age of a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> 19 years young. Tell me, you've got hoodies and hats. What's this HUD? What's who? HUD? Who's he? HUH is How's Your Head Clothing. Uh, it was set up by Mark. It's basically a mental health clothing brand here in Ireland. They've kicked off very well. And thankfully, with Mark, I was sponsored. Um, wonderful hoodies that we brought up here to raid today. Uh, wow, I'm going to wear with pride. Yeah. Would you think it? I, you, you read my mind. I have hoodies. I've got these red ones and I've got black ones. I've got green ones. And I don't have that blue. And I was going to actually ask you for your one. <laughs> Sure, look, we'll arrange it. We'll, we'll totally arrange that, yeah. You have, uh, you've read my mind. Now, uh, what's the whole story about this Google Box fan? The Google Box? Um, honestly, it's just, we have a film coming out. Um, it's basically me sharing my story, but not only me sharing my story. We are reaching out to people like Jackie Fox, who brought in Coco's Law. It's a law against harassment, bullying online and all stuff like that. Um, so we're reaching out. She lost her daughter, Nicole Fox Fenlon, Coco. Uh, through suicide um, and Jackie has advocated endlessly and 
brought in Coco's Law, which is absolutely amazing. So we'll be reaching out. We have reached out to Jackie, and Jackie is on board with that. So she'll be sharing uh, Coco's story in that So sense. the Google box, what is Google box? Google box is that sort of thing. It, it, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just we are planning to kind of push it out as much as we can. Um, so, so Google that. Box is you're sitting in your room and the television comes on. How are you relating that then to your uh, brighter thoughts Ireland dot com? So what we do with that is we can see something that goes on the telly and it's that sort of thing. We kind of want to push it out and send it out as much as we can. We get ideas off everywhere and we pull them in. We make them our own. We change it around. That's it. Excellent. So uh, you're a big fan of Lewis Cap. Lewis Capaldi. Capaldi. Yeah, uh, absolute massive Lewis Capaldi fan. Honest to God, I am, if you'd hear me every single day, I probably do. Drive my parents, my brothers, and my sisters absolutely mental. Give us a bit of the tune. Give us your favorite tune then. Lewis Capaldi bruises. It has to be bruises. One hundred ten percent. If you don't listen to Lewis Capaldi, you're not doing something right. Why? What's what's good about this guy? Um. Lewis Capaldi is so really so relatable and his career he sprung out of nowhere and I feel like that's myself not only like I'm getting there some bits but I feel like I've only just started so and his lyrics really really are so relatable can you sing can you sing a bit for me uh, I know we never left the bruises that you left behind so it's that sort of thing it's the bruises the bruises are gone but they're still with you it, it makes you who you are really so the dirty question is, did you ever uh, think of doing the dirty deed of uh, suicide? Um, there has been many a times where I have sat in my room and honestly, there's been times where I felt so alone, so isolated. And especially with COVID-19, that's one thing I want to talk about as well, is there, the number of people reaching out has gone up. The number of people feeling so isolated, um, the number of people reaching out to services has gone up exponentially and the same with anxiety people reach out to their gps which it's absolutely amazing but there's something that we need to talk about it's there's it's still there it is real people's feelings are real your feelings are real they are valid this you cuts through the whole way into every age you know what i mean that's it it's not just some 20 year old 30 year old 19 14 year old it doesn't matter who you are it mental health doesn't discriminate unfortunately you know Excellent. Now, uh, Grant Corden, do you watch that guy? Grant Corden, I've watched him a good bit. He talks about kind of life values and kind of the business entrepreneurship. And obviously, I see myself as a bit of an entrepreneur. I love getting involved in absolutely anything that I can, really. And uh, how are you going to entrepreneur the, yourself the, in the next year? Um, that's plans, plans in the works that I won't say too much, but the clothing mm -hmm. uh, is definitely one we can spread mental health awareness through the clothing um, and then also reach out to other organisations donate to other organisations in that sense as well so. Excellent so um, let's wrap it up because uh, we got brighter thoughts of Ireland so if anyone wants to get in contact how do they get in contact? You can head over to our website brighterthoughtsireland.com you can reach us through our Facebook our Instagram all Brighter Thoughts Ireland Excellent and uh, if anyone wants to contact you just go to your page yeah that's it, absolutely amazing. And also, I want to just also mention, if anyone does feel like that they do want to help, that they do want to get involved, you can go on to ohana.ie for free suicide prevention training. I cannot stress enough. It was set up in back in March by Angeline Collins. Um, she's an absolutely amazing woman. I've worked with her in Cycle Against Suicide. And the team there, there's an absolutely outstanding team. The suicide prevention training takes 20 minutes to half an hour to complete. It is free. You do get a cert. Share your cert online. Tag Ohana. And there you go. It does not make you qualified, but it gives you those kind of skills to know what you can do in a situation like that. Interesting enough, because this puts you into a sort of a business situation as well. It puts you into every sort of ang every run of the you know of the way the business works where people work you know the two things are running together so if anyone's out there i recommend that they should contact you and just have a chat in general um just uh, about making themselves better because if we are happy in ourselves we work much better and we we definitely get more out of life i agree 100 mm. percent, and that's one thing when i stopped surviving and i started living it was the best thing i ever done um and I 
I'll never go back, you know, I'm here living my life to the fullest, 19 years of age, I'm putting myself out there. Uh, your age doesn't discriminate, you can do absolutely anything you put your mind to, and as Ray said, as soon as you start loving yourself and kind of be on that journey to find yourself, I know it's not easy, and I'd be the first to say that it's not easy, but I'll also be the first to say that you can do it. So, Are you still at school? No, I am out of school, but I am hoping to go back to uh, college this year. I online? <laughs> Uh, yeah, online. <laughs> that that's another thing there. So tell me, uh, you were in Saint Mary's. So did you finish? Did you do the leaving? I did indeed. Um, I did absolutely amazing. I went on to do uh, social care. Uh, oh. I qualified as a social care worker, but I'm hoping to go back and do my national framework and qualification in social work, so I can be a social worker and not a social care worker. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is one legend, and as I said, he's on board the bus. I'm delighted that he makes the chance and uh, gives you the opportunity to contact him. Uh, we're going live every single day, and uh, we have loads of different things on board. So once again, uh, we'd like to thank Josh Deegan. And uh, as I said, if someone is out there and they want to join us on board our show, uh, or you want to just have a chat, you want to promote your business or whatever, Give us a PM and uh, we'll get back to you. Now, before we go, we just want to say hello to everyone who has looked in on board. So Lizzie Farrell has sent us a bus on its side. Thanks for that. And Derry Campbell is <laughs> looking in. Ray, would uh, ask Josh to contact us, please? My son, the same age, would be much benefits for him. As he, There you are. I mean, you have all the information yourselves, Derek. Uh, contact him. That's Derek and Karen looking in from Crew in England. Uh, Billy Whaley's looking in there. Hope you're keeping well, Billy, and I hope your recovery's going well uh, Trees is looking in there great man um, if he saves a life brilliant for him well every day we can all save a life folks uh, Carmel uh, who else is there? Oh, the, let me see uh, Kelly Deegan I wonder who she is <laughs> <laughs> she says well done Ray and Josh for highlighting such an important subject today well fair play to you Kelly and thanks for looking in and do you know what you have to do Kelly you got to share it <laughs> and uh, Lee, uh, Lizzie Farrell says thanks Josh very interesting great to see the feedback uh, and very positive from people and uh, relating to exactly what we're chatting to today so this is really really super we appreciate you all being on board Ross folks and if you can share it fair enough and if you don't share it fair enough as well so once again for myself and Josh Deegan in the house good thanks, really, guys. thanks Ray, for having me on it's an absolute pleasure as always Bye now for now. This is Ray Dolan with Josh Deegan as our special guest on the 12 Bongs. The time now is 12.18. Bye. Hey folks, we have our uh, superstar on board, ladies and gentlemen.